Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're talking all about terminal velocity. So recently I got to go to an indoor skydiving place and have this experience myself. It was so awesome. They have a giant fan that blows up air underneath you um, and it reaches your terminal velocity. So it's just like you jumped out of a plane before you put up your parachute and you feel this drag force or this air resistance shoot upward while gravity is still pulling you down. It's an amazing feeling. So I'm gonna teach you all about terminal velocity. So let's first look at the definition of terminal velocity. So terminal velocity is the maximum velocity a falling object can travel through a fluid. In other words, it's the fastest speed that it can obtain while traveling through a fluid. And you might be thinking, what in the world exactly is a fluid then? Well, a fluid is gonna be a gas or a liquid. All right, in this particular case, when we're talking about skydiving, we're really talking about just a gas, right? Because we're talking about air and air resistance and that drag. So when the person first jumps out of a plane, okay, um, in order to reach your terminal velocity, you're gonna have a very small drag force. Remember, drag force is really just your air resistance that you're encountering. Um, and you're gonna have a pretty strong gravitational force pulling you down and you're gonna increase your speed at the rate of gravity, which is gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared because we're on Earth and that is what gravity is on Earth, okay? So every second that passes, you're gonna increase your speed by 9.8 meters per second, which is pretty cool because you just get faster and faster the more you fall. Now, eventually, you will reach a spot called your terminal velocity, and this is where you cannot speed up anymore. And this is where your forces are balanced, okay? So your drag force is gonna increase all the way up to equal your gravitational force being pulled down on you. Once these are equal, you kind of feel weightless and you kind of feel like, oh, like this is cool, right? You're just having like a free floating moment almost. Um, and this is gonna be your terminal velocity. This is when you cannot get any faster and it's gonna stay that way until something happens. When we jump out of a plane, that's something that happens is going to be releasing your parachute. So as soon as you release your parachute, your drag force is going to increase dramatically, right? Because it's going to catch all that air. And in fact, you're going to shoot up into the sky even. It's so strong. And then um, your gravity is going to stay the same. But you're going to start pulling downward and floating down, but at a much slower rate than you were falling originally. And what's gonna happen? The same thing again. Eventually, our drag force and our gravitational force will equal one another, and we will reach yet a second time our new terminal velocity, except this time, our terminal velocity is gonna be much slower than the first one, which means that we can stop and land safely, or at least hope we land a lot safer than we would without a parachute, right? So if we're looking back at uh, me when I was at the indoor skydiving, you can see that my drag force is created by the fan, right? All the air pushing upward and the gravity is pulling me downward towards the center of the earth. Now these forces were equal when I was just floating around kind of almost feeling like weightless for a second, all right? Um, it is a really cool feeling. If you're old enough, I highly recommend it. Um, have a little bit of fun with it, but this is an amazing experience. I do say I recommend indoor skydiving over real skydiving just because it is much safer and you get the same feeling involved. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot about terminal velocity in a really fun way. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see all the new videos I'm posting on Science Explained. Thanks guys. Bye.